Hey guys, welcome to Over the Mooney. My name is Katie and today we are doing another episode, long awaited episode of Crafted. So if you are new here to my channel and you don't know what Crafted is, it is a collaboration that I do with my lovely friend Jessie over at Miss Cherry's channel where we both get together and we do some crafts. So what's really fun about this challenge is that in a typical Crafted, and we've kind of gone off the rails with this, but we're back on track with it, we send each other craft supplies that we need to make a craft with. Because of COVID and everything going on, we hadn't been able to do a traditional crafted episode, but I'm happy to say we are doing that today and I'm so excited to bring it to you. So today we are going to be doing crafts that are inspired by characters from Winnie the Pooh, which I'm so incredibly excited for. I love Winnie the Pooh and all of his friends, so <laughs> I'm definitely excited to do this. So I did choose Eeyore as my character to create and then Jessie sent me a package of craft supplies as well as a character that she's going to assign me. I did the same for her. Obviously, I'm going to be leaving a link down below to Jessie's channel, and if you are watching this on the day that this is uploaded, you have to make sure to go over and wish Jessie a very happy birthday, because today is actually her birth her birthday, so Jessie, happy, happy birthday. I hope you have the absolute best, best day. So let's go ahead and get crafted rolling with the crafts that I am creating. Hey guys, so I got Jessie's package in the mail today. I'm very, very excited. So I wanted to go ahead and open it up with you guys so that we can see what the heck she sent over to us to make for our Winnie the Pooh crafted. I have some hot chocolate here. It's so freaking good. If you guys want to know how to make this, I'm going to leave a link down below. It is a Mexican hot chocolate, so it has a touch of a kick to it. Enough about that. Let me grab my scissors and let's open this thing. I always feel like Jessie packages this stuff up so much nicer than I do, but okay. Here's our card that I slice right through. Oh, we have one of the otters from Finding Dory on there. So cute. Oh, oh my God. This is the cutest card. How adorable is that? We have Mickey giving us a special delivery. Katie, happy crafted again. So excited that we're doing this again. <laughs> I've chosen Tigger for you. Cannot wait to see what you come up with. Let's craft it again soon. Love you, Jesse. P.S. Here's a sticker with Fantasmic Thought. You'd like it. I do. And then the inside says, wishing you a wheelie fun Valentine's Day. I love a good pun. So we have all of these adorable Tigger stickers inside here too. This is good because I was gonna send Jessie Tigger and I changed my mind. We've done that before where we sent each other the same characters. It's just more fun when we have different characters, but here's my pretty sticker. <gasps> Fantasmic, I miss you. Okay, <gasps> so we have mystery and suspense because we have some tissue paper here, but I'm really excited to see what Jessie sent us. We're off to a good start because we have some heat transfer vinyl. So we get to make something with our Cricut. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going to be the most fun. Okay. So I got this. So orange. Ooh, sweatshirt. Holy moly. That, that is orange. That is an orange sweatshirt. And I'm not mad about it. This is gonna be like the best thing to live in forever and ever and ever. I'm gonna like thrive in this. Okay, so we have this sweatshirt, we have our HTV, and guys, we're gonna be tie-dyeing! <gasps> so we have some tie-dye rubber bands. How freaking fun. And then we have tie-dye black. It has been so long since I have tie-dyed anything. And I know that Jessie has been into tie-dyeing. I have been like coveting tie-dyeing. I've been wanting to do tie-dye and I just haven't gotten around to it. And now I'm gonna get to, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. My wheels are spinning. I think that Tigger is a great role model because he's so self-confident. He just thinks that he is the bee's knees. And honestly, that's something that I'm working on personally. So I think that Tigger is going to be a great role model. This is gonna be so much fun. So Jesse, A++ for this. This is gonna be a blast. I think that we just have to go get started with crafting now. Yay, let's do this. 
All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and get started on my tie-dye shirt project, which I'm super excited about. I was thinking about doing, like, a striped tie-dye effect, but I feel like that might be a little bit hard to pull off. So I'm going to go instead for, like, a scrunched tie-dye effect. So I'm very excited. So let me take you over to my very super high-tech setup that I have going on here. So here we are. Streaky, of course, is involved. <laughs> I have my sweatshirt. I have my HTV, which obviously we'll deal with once this is fully tie-dyed and dried and all that stuff. My tie-dye kit, some rubber bands, a spray bottle in order to get my shirt wet and then in order to also fill up my tie-dye container, and then a cookie cooling rack because I heard that that is a good thing to use so that your shirt isn't just gonna be sitting in all sorts of excess dye. And then of course I have a big old garbage bag on the floor so that we don't have to worry about getting tie-dye all over my floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and I'll meet you guys back here when we're ready to get started. Super helpful in all ways possible. <laughs> this is gonna go really, really well. I can just feel it in my bones. Are you gonna help me tie-dye? Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, so we are done with, now you guys can see how truly messy my entire attic is. We are done with the scrunching, I guess. This is how it looks. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do things, so we're just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna go ahead and get the dye mixed up and then we can start dyeing things. <laughs> I'm nervous and excited to see how this ends up turning out. Alright, so we are done dyeing. I have everything sitting in a plastic bag right now. So we'll let that sit. The instructions say to sit for six to eight hours. We're actually going over to my parents' house tonight, so I probably won't be home in time for the six to eight hours, so I can do that tomorrow. So then tomorrow we'll be able to see how everything came out and get our SVG printed out and our HTV onto our shirt. So for now, while I'm waiting for all of that to happen, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my other other crafts so let's talk about that real quick okay so for craft number two we are going to be making kind of a DIY diamond dots type thing so I have all the materials that I need so this right here is a five by seven canvas of course you can use whatever size you would like I also have these jewels from Michaels they're like this gray cool multi-faceted color that will make up the body of the character that I'm using which I never said who it is and it is even but I think that you can tell by the gray that that's who we're going with and then I have these rhinestones So this is a set that I got from AC Moore So I'll be using these for part of the snout and then I have these rhinestones This is called sweet 16. This is from Auntie Tay I will leave a link to her shop down below. She has really great rhinestones for a very reasonable price. I'm sorry 16th birthday very close <laughs> but these are pink so I'm gonna be using these ones for his little bow on his tail and then also from Auntie Tay this is the color spots so I'll be using this for his hair so these are just black rhinestones and it's a mix of sizes so we can kind of play it up but then the real hero of this is this so this is actually like a double-sided sticker paper so one side of the backing is white and then the other side is clear so what we're gonna do is we are going to find an image that we like and of course you can use whatever image you would like we're gonna cut it down to size peel off the white portion of it and then you can just use this sticky but have the clear portion on the other side so that you can see through to the image that you're trying to put the gems over top of and then once that's done you can cut cut it down to size fully to put it on to your canvas so that's what we're gonna be doing this is my first time trying this but I'm pretty sure it's gonna work out so I'm gonna go ahead and find my myself an image of Eeyore that I like and would like to use for this canvas and I think I'm also going to get his autograph from the parks to put underneath it so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so 
So I'm gonna get that put onto one image and then sized, print that out, and then we'll be back to get started. I have my picture printed out with my little signature and I took away the white backing on this and I just used some clear scotch tape to tape the sticky paper down to my image because you don't obviously want to take off the backing from the other side or else you won't get it off of this picture which is not exactly what we want. So I have this. I'm gonna get started on his body. I'm gonna go a little bit different on the colors that they chose here. I'm gonna do the gray version of him rather than the blue version and so I have my little beads here and I have this cute little tool from again Auntie Tay so one side is like a little needle type thing that it's not gonna focus on but essentially it's just like for kind of rooting around or if you need to move things around then you can but the other side is a wax tip which is super super helpful when you are trying to pick up beads and place them so it actually will pick it up and then you can place them so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on doing that Okay, so we are on to day two of crafting and this is what our little Ewer guy looks like. I am so pleased with how he came out. So obviously there's some differences in what we originally were going to do. So those beads that I was going to use ended up being too big. There were no small sizes. So I have to just do rhinestones across the entire thing. I will link to all of the colors that I use. Although I will say that these ones are just the crystal AB rhinestones that you can get really from any craft store. But the black, the purple, and the pink are all from from Auntie Tay, so I will leave links to those down below. So I just need to go ahead and cut this down to size and then I'm gonna put this on to my canvas. And then we also have our shirt, yay! So this is how it ended up coming out. I'm sorry, I'm working in a limited space. <laughs> I am a messy, messy crafter. It's just, it's not, it's not a neat thing. This is how it came out and I love how like random all of the tie-dye looks. So this is the front and then I think we have a little bit more traditional tie-dye going on on the back, which is fun. So I really love how this turned out as far as the tie-dye goes so now I'm gonna go ahead and print out my SVG get that weeded and I will show you guys what that looks like when it's done as well little miss helpful is here <laughs> she's making sure that my shirt is nice and ready to get some HTV on there right yes we are thank you Okay guys, so we are done with our crafts. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is my Eeyore that I came up with, which I am overall very pleased with. I would say like 90% pleased. This was the first time that I really used this double sticky for this purpose. So I think that there was a little bit of a learning curve in applying it and also just keeping it clean <laughs> because I have cats and if you also have cats or probably really any pet at all then you know that keeping pet hair out of anything is impossible let alone something that is a giant sticker it's just a magnet so I think that that's my only complaint in the application I just did not do well I was surprised at how sticky the underside was so there was a little bit of ripping but overall I am really really pleased with how this came out I think it looks super super cute and especially from far away like you're not going to be able to tell that some of the adhesive is raised now, up close you can kind of see where it's raised a little bit where it kind of got bubbles in it and stuff I did end up ripping I want to say right here it got ripped and down here with the Y it's supposed to be a touch longer but I lost a couple of the rhinestones but I wasn't really all that mad about it I did try to cut around everything as much as I possibly could but I almost feel like this might be a good thing to do like a cut 
on the Cricut, cut this out and then put the rhinestones on it and then put it onto something. But I think this is something that I'm gonna play around with because I really like this idea and I would like to kind of master it a little bit better and then maybe we can return to it and do another video. But overall, super, super happy with it. I think it's really cute. And I think that this would be such a fun idea to do for like a nursery or something that you could do all the different characters. And honestly, I would say this probably took me three or four hours. Like it wasn't super quick, but it wasn't like a diamond painting that I've done before where you're really like working with those teeny, teeny diamond diamonds. Like this is very easy. And so I think that this is a great little craft that you can do just to, you know, spruce up a place. This is going to definitely go on my little Winnie the Pooh shelf back there. So I'm really excited to put that up there. And then my shirt, I'm really pleased with how that came out too. So the tie dye came out better than I thought it would. But honestly, like I said, I don't really think that you can mess up tie dye. It's just going to look a little bit different depending on how much space you do, what method you do. Like tie dye is tie dye. Like I don't think that you can mess it up. But I really like the little SVG that I chose to put on here. And it's him bouncing. How cute is that? So I ended up kind of going off the shirt a little bit. But then there he is just so happy and bouncy and I really really like how this came out and I'm thinking I might go ahead and like play around with like cutting up the collar a little bit and making it like an off the shoulder and the black did show up a lot more true to black than I thought it would I really thought it was gonna end up being a little bit more brown and it's not like a super vibrant black but it looks better than I thought that it would overall I'm really really pleased with how it came out so there's the front of it and then here's how the back of it looks too in case you're wondering I had a ton of fun putting these crafts together so you guys will definitely have to let me know which one you liked more which was your favorite and what character you would love to make a craft for based on the Winnie the Pooh characters you'll have to go check out Jessie's video of course so that you can go and see what she made I am honest to God dying to see what she made. I'm just so thrilled to be back at Crafted. Let me know down in the comments below if there are any movies or characters that you guys would like to see a Crafted video done for because of course we're going to be continuing this because we truly love doing this so, so much. If this is your first time here on my channel and you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love it if you hit that subscribe button. I do a ton of Disney, Harry Potter, and DIY content here on my channel so I would love to have you. And if you love crafts, then you guys are in luck because if you're watching this as it's live, I will be starting a Craftmas series here on my channel this coming week. We're going to be having four different craft videos, not including this one, leading up to Christmas. So I'm very, very excited to be sharing those with you guys as well. So definitely subscribe for that. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love it if you do. Leave those comments down below and guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.